So a lot of our patients are concerned about infection risk for coming into the hospital, infection risk at home after they take baby home, infection risk before you know baby is born, and then also from a lot of the reports that they've heard at other hospitals, especially those on the East Coast, a lot of patients are concerned about what labor and delivery is going to look like now. The vast majority of labors are very healthy and have no complications. However, unfortunately, a small percentage do have life-threatening emergencies that can affect the health of the mom and the baby. And those, unfortunately, are very hard to predict. So because of that reason, we recommend strongly that all women deliver in a healthcare facility, especially a hospital that has access to things like surgery rooms, oxygen, life-saving medications, and lots of personnel on hand who can assist with emergencies as needed. Needed. Unfortunately, those things are usually not available in uh, locations outside of the hospital. So we've done a lot of screening changes as far as patients and, and other people coming into the hospital. All employees, all patients, anyone who's entering the hospital is going to go through a rigorous screening process to screen for signs of infection. If they do have signs of infection and it is not something that they need to be seen for immediately, we will test them and then send them out of the hospital. If it is a patient that needs to be admitted, we will test them and then we will isolate them from all other patients in the hospital as well. So we're doing lots of things in order to try to decrease the amount of infection that can come into the hospital. And along those lines, a lot of our ambulatory patients, those who are coming into clinic for regular visits, we're converting as many of those that are safe possible to telehealth or televideo visits in order to decrease their risk of even having to travel to the hospital at all. A lot of patients have a lot of anxiety or concerns about what labor is going to look like now. And what I recommend, first of all, is to talk to your provider and find out what is labor going to look like for you. What will be different than perhaps you already had planned on your birth plan? A lot of things are going to be exactly the same, but there are going to be some key differences. One of those are the number of visitors that you can have. Previously, and as always, Texas Children's has always been a family-friendly hospital. However, in this time of increased infection, we are limiting one adult healthy visitor per laboring patient. And for that reason, some patients may be having to adjust what they thought would be their, their um, support crew in labor and delivery. Some of the things that I can recommend that you can get a little creative with that is if you were planning on having your mom there, if you were planning on having your sister or any other loved one other than your spouse or whomever you want to be your primary support person, talk about ways that you can get them involved, whether that be via FaceTime or just on the telephone. A lots of different ways. We are going to be very flexible in trying to help you to incorporate as many as your loved ones as you want to be in the birth experience. Other things that I've recommended is if that particular support person, you're really counting on them to help you with one particular part of labor, share that with the person that you are planning on bringing with you. And that way that person can try to tune up those skills before you go into labor so that he or she can be that support for you as well. Um, additionally, bring pictures, bring photos, bring things that remind you of those loved ones that you want to be there. And then if there's particular music or, or objects that are calming to you, things like that, I would definitely recommend bringing those as well. But overall, as always, all of us here at Texas Children's are going to do our best to make this the most happy, joyous occasion that can be. And we will do everything that we can to support you to make you feel like you've got a big family supporting you while you're there.